Hi everybody, Sol Hawari, Combat Point, and today I'm standing here with the two people who made the Bada Hari Recurve Hoover fight happen, uh, Core Hammers and uh, John Franklin. Uh, guys, how are you doing? We're doing great. It wasn't just us, though. It was the whole team at Glory. We've got a lot of people working behind the scenes to bring Bader and Rico to the world. So what did it actually take to make this fight happen? Because everybody was looking so, for, so forward to this fight. So what did it take? I think the guys wanted to do it. At the end of the day, it's about Rico wanting to fight Bader and Bader wanting to fight Rico. And, and, and Oberhausen, uh, uh, is it because of the venue? Uh, you have more space over there? Is that something that, that went into consideration? There well, are a lot of reasons to go to Germany. Um, when I first looked at it on the map, I thought, wow, this is in the middle of nowhere. And then I realized it's actually in the middle of everywhere. So you've got people coming from France, you've got people coming from Germany, you've got people coming from Holland. Fill the place up, it's practically sold out, and uh, turned out to be a great location for collision. And, and Cor, uh, you're uh, head of talent, uh, uh, so um, uh, the, 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 the main question, the main argument here that people say is that there is no talent in the heavyweight division. Do you agree? Do you find it hard to find talent in the heavyweight div uh, division? No, the point was uh, there was a great time with the K1 and when they get bankrupt, you know, there was like a gap. So uh, the old, uh, we, we used uh, some of the uh, old guys, the old heroes, but they all were close to retire. Of course, uh, there was uh, for two years there was no competition, so we missed that. But I think now there are uh, very good new talents coming up, also in the heavyweight. I mean, we have a guy like Lond, Hesegerges, uh, new new guys, Ben Sadek, you know, and uh, we have still uh, a guy like Badahari who's uh, only 31. Everybody was talking today about the old school, old school, but I think they are close together, 28, 31. We just have to, had it to wait, you know. There was a gap of two years. Glory had to, had to establish. We needed to develop a new uh, hero, and that's Rico. So I think it's, this is the momentum. The time is there. I'm happy with it. But new talent is coming, and I think this kind of uh, events are motivating the fighters to come back again on this platform and start with kickboxing. So I'm not worried about uh, the talent. We still have some uh, good heavyweights uh, walking around, and uh, a lot to, that will follow. You know. Do you have some names for us? Uh, we have, uh, yeah, like I said, a guy like uh, Ben Sadek, you know, uh, I think he's a young kid, he's a, he's a heavy dude. Let's see what he does with, uh, with our contender uh, winner, you know, uh, Ismail Lond. It will be a great fight. Uh, those guys uh, are the guys from the future, I think. You're, you're globalizing now, you're uh, focusing on new markets, uh, expanding uh, extremely fast, uh, I might say. Uh, is that a push for you in the back uh, to uh, continue? Or is this like, uh, all right, we, let's, stabil let's stabilize for now and see what uh, the future will bring? Well, actually, we're going bigger in 2017. And if we look really far out in the future, we want to go even bigger in 2018. So 2017, we're going to expand into China. We're going to do some events in South America. We're going to move up to Canada if we get the regulatory issues settled. So we're going global for sure. Um, bigger, better, faster, harder. That's what Glory is going to be in 2017. All right. Well, that's a fantastic finish for everybody. Everybody, follow Glory. Uh, I hope you like this video. I hope you'll share it. Uh, for now, thank you very much, gentlemen. And uh, I will definitely see you in Oberhausen. Okay. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you.